Do you feel that? Hello. Hi, good evening. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Can you see me? Yes. Okay. How was your swimming? <laughs> it's good. It was I swim. I swim last. Uh huh. I thought it's. The weather is kind of cool, isn't it? In Vietnam? Mm -hmm. uh, a little bit. I can I can swim. But still, you can see. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because some of my students were wearing sweater. They said it's cool kind of cold not in your city mm, yeah okay good for you <laughs> how many are you yeah how many are you five five what time did you go home At Half past five. Oh, okay, kind of early. Did you have dinner already? Yes. Good. <laughs> ha and uh, about your homework, um, since we are going to pass through it, I'm just going to, we're going to get there later. Okay. You promised you're going to send your previous homework screenshot. Did you? Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where w was it? Mm. <laughs> I um. Uh, I the last time you said um you did it, but your brother uh, is using the iPad, so you can't take a screenshot. I'm not done yet. Oh, which one? Yeah. Which one? The last one? Uh, the number... Number one and not done. And number... Um, Is this about the fill in the blanks? The last homework that I gave you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. It's okay. We're going to talk about it either way. Okay. Let's begin. So we started at 7 30. We are going to end at 8 15, quarter past eight. So we are still in KET 6, test two, reading and writing. And we are now in part four. Part four. As you know, we are going to read an article, a story. It's about two strange meetings. Who are the characters? What happened to the story? We are going to learn about that. After that, we will read some statements and identify if they are right, wrong, 
or doesn't say. Let's begin. Okay. Let's start with the first paragraph. Please read. My name is Anna King and I was born in a small town called Medicine in Wyoming. Wyoming. Wyoming, in the center of the USA. When I was 20, I moved to the East Coast to the town just south of New York to start a job in the department store. Mm -hmm. One day, a young man with a short brown hair who was shopping in the store looked at me and asked, are you Michael Gold? Michelle? Are you Michelle Golden? Are you, are you Michelle Golden? Thank you. So who is the character in the story? Or who are? There are two of them. Mm, Anna King. Uh-huh. And? And Michael. Uh-huh. Um, I think that's just a name they are talking about, but it's not the other character. Who asked about Michelle Golden? He's got no name. He is a young man. A young man. Yes. So the story is about two people. Do they know each other? No. No, they don't. Let's talk about Anna. Where was she born? She born in. She was. She was born in a small town called Madison in Madison. Wyoming. Okay, the town, uh, the town's name is Madison, and maybe the province is named Wyoming. Okay, so if Madison is from the USA. What's her nationality? Nationality. She's from the USA. If you're from Vietnam, you are Vietnamese. How about you are from the USA? What's mm -hmm. your nationality? Do you know the meaning of USA? No. United States of America. United States of America. If you are from America, what's your nationality? Mm. <laughs> the name of uh, the name of the country is USA. America, your nationality is American, American, with an N, okay, remember, America, American, again, what is Anna's nationality? She is... USA. She is from the USA. What's her nationality? Um, mm -hmm. I just said it a while ago. Uh, American. Yes, that's it. I'm going to show you. USA means United States of America. 
Sometimes they call it USA. Sometimes they call it US. Sometimes they call it just America. America. There you go. Both means United States of America. If you are from here, you are American. Okay. So when she was 20, did she move to another place? Um, uh, move to the south of New York. Uh huh. To a town just south of New York. Why did she move there? Why? What does she do there? To start the job in the department store. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, she starts a job in a department store. And did anything strange happen? Oh, someone's crying okay. downstairs. Mm -hmm. One day, a young man with short brown hair who was shopping in the store looking at me and asked, Are you Michael Gordon? Michelle. Michelle. I think Michael spells like this in English. This is Michael, Michael for man, and if it's for a woman, it's Michelle, okay? Michael, Michelle, okay. Since Anna is a woman, we will use Michelle. So what happened? What, uh, who was she mistaken for? Who? Was she mistaken for? Please unmute. A young man. Oh, again, again. What was it? A young man. Oh, the young man was mistaken. Uh, are you Michelle Golden? Yes. Anna King was mistaken for Michelle Golden. Okay, but are they just one? Are they just one person, Michelle and Anna? Let's find out. <laughs> Let's go to the second paragraph, please. This one. No, I said, but. What do you mean Michelle Golden from Medicine? Medicine. He, medicine. Madison. He did. I told him that was at school with Michelle. She wasn't much older than me. And people often said that we just like each other. Then the young man told me that Michelle was in the same history class at university as he was. Thank you. Looked just like each other. Looked just like each other. Okay. And uh, um, who is Michelle? Her uh, was Michelle is mm -hmm. who the same, uh, same just same same uh, Anna. Um, I mean, does Anna know Michelle? No. No. Are you sure? Look okay, again. Again, my question is: Does Anna know? Michelle? No, he does, no, she doesn't. Mm -hmm. Let me see. It's in here. Read this part again. Taught him mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. That I was at school with Michelle. Mm -hmm. She then, wasn't. She wasn't much older than me, and people often said that we just like each other. So, does Anna know Michelle? Yeah. Yes, she does. And are they classmates? No. No, just schoolmates. They go, they went to the same school. Who is older, Anna or Michelle? Mich uh, Anna. Who is older? Older. Anna. Mm hmm. What does it say? She wasn't much older than me. So, who is older? Anna or Michelle? Anna. Mm -hmm. It says yeah. wasn't much older. Not wasn't older. Wasn't it's much older. Uh, Michelle. That, it's Michelle. Yeah. Wasn't much older means their age is not far from each other. So maybe if Anna is 20, maybe Michelle is about 21 or 22. They are not far from each other's age. Much older. Wasn't much older. So Michelle is older. And what do people say about them? What do people often say about them, about Anna and Michelle? Uh, they, we look just like each other. Mm-hmm. So many people were mistaken because they look just like each other. Uh -huh. How about the young man? How did he know Michelle? How do they know each other? The young man. And the young man told that Michelle was the same history class as university as he was. Okay, so they were classmates in which subject? In which class? In which class are they classmates? Uh, in the same history class. History. Okay, next, let's go to the third and fourth paragraph, please. Six months later, I got a better job with another department store and moved to the West Coast to work as their sent. Francisco store. One day on my way home from work, a young man with a soft brown hair passed me in the street and asked, Are you Michelle Gordon? <laughs> no, I answered. You asked me that we when, when we met on the shop several thousand meals away near. Ne Okay, this story is funny. So did Anna stay on her job in uh, the south of New York? Did she stay there? Yeah. Did she stay or moved again? Did she stay in the south of New York or moved again? Yes. The, moved to the West Coast? Yes. 
Has she got a new jo job? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, she's got a new job. Is it the same? Is it was it uh, the same department store in New York? Was it the same department store as the one in New York? The same or another? The same. Mm -hmm. Is it the same? Look at the first sentence in the third paragraph. Was it the same department store? in the West Coast or another department store? Uh, in, the, she in, said, the, in the West Coast. Mm -hmm. She said she's got a better job. So, did she stay on her old job or she's got a new job with another department store? Old one or new one? Uh, old or new one? another department store that means a new job a new department store not the old one okay and it seems like they met again didn't they okay what did the young man say The young man mm -hmm. asks, are you Michelle Gordon? Uh-huh. Was it the same young man who asked him in New York? Yeah. Yes. That was the same man, young man. Okay. <laughs> so that's fun. That's what's funny about the story. They met again. But he asked the same question, if she is Michelle Golden. Oh, wait, tell me, where did they meet? When, when, when? Where? Meet. meet. Where did they uh, when, meet? Him? When Anna work home from work. Uh, on, I, oh, you missed a word, dear. Go back a bit. On my way. On my way home from work. Yes, yeah, so where is she then? Is she at work? Uh, on, on her way. Yes, okay. Not on her work or job. Not in the department store. Now let's answer the questions. Let's see if it's not broken. Okay, it isn't broken today. Let's see the example. Anna was born in a large town. It's wrong. Which part is incorrect? Which word or phrase? Uh, uh, Anna was born in a small town. In a small town, not a large town. So it's wrong. Okay, number 21, please. Anna left home and began working in a department store. Did that happen? Yeah. Yes. So it's right. Right. A. Number 22, please. The young man who spoke with Anna wants to buy a new jacket. <laughs> no. no. Doesn't cool. say. Doesn't say. Perfect. <laughs> 23. Good job. 23. And uh, what's your girl, Jen Michelle? Mm -hmm. Wrong. So if it's wrong, which part is incorrect? Mm, 
much. She wasn't much older than me. So that means is Anna younger than Michelle? Yes. Yes. So the answer Anna is. <laughs> wrong. Yeah. Wrong. Which word is incorrect? Mm. If it's wrong, which part of the sentence is incorrect? Anna, younger, Michelle. Which one is wrong? As she wasn't older than me. Aha, uh -huh, yes, that's right. But it was written in a different way in the statement. She, that's Michelle wasn't much older than me, Anna. Michelle, older than Anna. Now look at 23 again. Anna, younger than Michelle. Yeah. Yeah, that is. Right. Right because Michelle is older than Anna. So, Anna was younger than Michelle. <laughs> okay, 24, please. Matt, Michelle, and the young man was sister together. Mm -hmm. Right. Right, okay. Number 25. And I got a job with the same co company in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. Francisco. Right, wrong, or does it say? Did Anna get a job with the same company in San Francisco? Right. I think you're kind of laggy. You sometimes freeze and then your sound goes faster and then it stops, stops. It's right. Which paragraph can we find that about that? I got a better job with another department store and moved to the West Coast for the work and their San Francisco store. That's right. What is the keyword? The keyword is another. another. So 25. Right, wrong, doesn't say. Right. Uh, is it right? Wrong, wrong, wrong. Wrong, because these are opposite. Okay, it's wrong. They're not the same. It's another one. Okay, 26, please. Anna was at work when she met the young man for the second time. Mm -hmm. Wrong. Wrong. Which part is incorrect? Uh, one day on my way for home from work. Yes, yeah, so she wasn't at work. She was on her way home. Great. Number 27. And I was angry when the young man spoke to her a second time. Mm -hmm. Doesn't say. Doesn't say. Perfect. Oh, okay. I think our 
audio is kind of late because I said 27 and then you look like this. You are waiting. I don't know if it's my internet or yours. Anyways, read the article about tigers. Choose the best word. So there are blanks. You will pick the correct answer from the choices. We have one example. Tigers are the largest cats of all. Largest. Because there are different kinds of cats. Your turn, 28. A hundred years ago, 100,000 tigers visited lived across as Asia. 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 But today, there are only about 6,000 with many living in zoos around the world. Tigers usually live in the forest, but Some are yes. So not every, not uh, all of the tigers live in the forest, but some in wetter areas. Okay, keep going. How in the wetter areas, most of they live for how from long? Yes, twelve to eighteen years. But in zoo, they can live. How long? Sorry. Mm -hmm. um, I think this is about describing how long they can live in zoos. If they are in the wilds, they can live from 12 to 18. But if they are in zoos, how long can they live? Until. Until. Okay. Describes how long. Next. The cost of these beautiful animals are orange and black, but supposedly not to cause are ever the the other. Mm -hmm. So in here they are comparing different tigers. They both have they all have orange and black, but do they have the same patterns? Surprisingly, the no. Same. Yes, no two coats are ever the same. So you see, if we look closely, tigers don't look alike. They have different patterns on their body. Next, last one. Tigers are different from most cats, but they are like water. They are strong swimmers and often go into river when the weather gets too hot. Too hot! Okay, so what is the biggest or the largest cat? What is the largest cat of all? Lion. <gasps> the largest tiger. tiger. This is about tigers. <laughs> okay, and how many tigers are living now in Asia? Or maybe around the world? Mm. Now, okay. Not long ago. Uh, 
how many? Six thousand. Yes, only six thousand. Where do tigers usually live? Usually live in the zoo. Uh huh. Mm. Is that usual? Do they really? Um, do most of them live in zoos? I am, I am thinking about the environment, not the exact place where they live. The kind of environment that they like. What kind of place do they usually live? The forest or in wet areas? Wet area. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they usually live in forests, but they are found in wetter areas, okay. And do tigers like water? Yes. Yes. How about the common cats or pet cats? Do they like water? Uh, they hate water. Yes, but tigers are different. They like water. Okay. Next, we are now going to your homework. Wait. Mm -hmm. Ooh, if I'm going to move here, you might see the answers. Let me see that. Yeah. Okay. I gave you this one as your homework, right? Yeah. Yes. And this is an email from Margaret to Lydia. And let's oh, look at their names. They're kind of, they're not very common. So let's find out as to where they come from. Where do they come from? We have one example. Thank you for letting me stay. Your turn. I think you need to start from the beginning. Letting me stay. I don't know number one. Two. Uh huh. Mm, it's not that hard, dear. Just look. Stay blank you. Who do you stay? I stay with you. Yes, that's it. With you. <laughs> okay, number 22. You in Ljubljana. 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 Mm -hmm. Last week. So, Slovenia. 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 A great country. And. Mm -hmm. And it. It. it was nice to spend a long day. Mm -hmm. A good day. Mm, can, it, I think it's about the length of day. So can we count days? Can we count the days? No, much. A many day. Mm -hmm. Where is that? Mm. So... Mm, if you're going for a holiday, are you going to stay for for long in other people's house? Will you stay for a long time? Maybe not that much. So maybe can you pick the opposite of many? Much day. Mm -hmm. um, uh, when we use much, do we use it for a countable or uncountable nouns? Much is uh, for uncountable. Countable is for many. But I am asking you about the opposite of many. Opposite, not the same. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to show it to you. 
few. Opposite of many, few. Instead of little, we use few for countable nouns. Two days, three days. Since this is just a holiday, we won't spend a lot of days on other people's home. It must be just a few days. Okay, but if it's long, we can say many. That will do. Okay, next. Oh dear, do you have any questions? Yeah. Okay, okay. I learned so much. Yes. About so so Slovenian. Me let me know cooking from your mother. I really enjoy meeting your friend in the university too. Please say hello to all of us. Uh huh. You will say hello to yourself, including you. Us means including you. All of you. Please say hello to all of you. So you mean you are writing to Margaret, uh, you are writing to Lydia, and you are saying hello to her? You are saying that hello to her? Mm -hmm. I think you need to say hello to those friends from the university. Can you pick a pronoun? Replace friends, your friends. Pronouns are he, she, um, them, they. Those are pronouns. Replace friends into a pronoun. Please say hello to all of. And this uh, is all of. All of. Mm hmm. Pronouns are he, she, but we are looking for more, not just for one person, right? Here are some examples. These are pronouns. Can we refer friends into he? No, it's just for one person. Maybe a friend, but not friends. How about she? <laughs> not either. Can we use yeah. they? Please yeah. say hello to all of them. Them. We replace friends into them. Okay, so it's them. So when you're doing this activity, sometimes they replace the nouns into pronouns. Look at this one. It. It is a pronoun. Which one did we replace? It. We replace, I think it's about the holiday. The holiday or the vacation was really nice. We replaced it. it. Okay. Where will we? 47. I very like to come back in Sevilla. Mm -hmm. Try again. Bye. <laughs> Someone's fighting downstairs. <laughs> When you express something that you want to do 
in the future. Maybe a plan that you want to do in the future. I would or should. I think it's would. It's better if we use would. Oh, I really. Maybe replace your very with really. I really like to come back to Slovenia. I would like to come back to Slovenia. It means something that you want to do in the future. Okay. Next. Yeah. For I can get, I make so I can speak more from your language. More from? Mm, I think this is about the language. Mm -hmm. So you connect them referring to the language. It's not from, almost there, change it. It sounds like that. From, for, off, which one? From, for, off, which one? Uh. I'll make sure I can speak more blank your la language. More, uh... more of what? Of, um... of. <laughs> of. That's it. <laughs> More of your language. <laughs> okay, number 49. It's off. That's it. What? What is yes. the best Slovene. Slovene textbook? Mm -hmm. I hope everyone in your family is well. Yes. Okay, look at the words. They are just common words, some prepositions, <laughs> pronouns. Prepositions are with, in, from, at. Those are prepositions. Pronouns are it, them, what else? Be verb uh, is, it's, um, help, and some modal verb. So, okay, so there. So, I told you to be just to just relax when you do this task because they're not very hard. Don't think too much. <laughs> okay. So on our next meeting, we're going to finish the remaining two or three tasks from this lesson and move to speaking. And what have we learned today? Tell me. Can you give maybe one word or something that you have learned from this lesson? learn about uh, how to how to uh, just write wrong or to say oh yes okay uh, anything we else? do in the blank oh how to pick which one the one with the choices or without uh the choices mm -hmm, with the choices okay okay so you do remember the trick so on your next test when you do the reading comprehension the one where you read the story if it's wrong find the wrong word and uh, look for the correct one from the story okay it's already time i'll see you
Tomorrow, are we going to start early? Maybe at 50 only. Okay. Why today we uh, begin early? Because my husband is home early. You don't like it? Yeah, I, I, like, I like Oh, you do? But tomorrow, we, we can only start at 50. Okay. Yeah. That's 7.50. Okay. Not 30. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye -bye. Thanks. <laughs>